Welcome. Today we're going to talk about the second chance replacement algorithm for virtual memory. Let's recall the, the type of problem that these algorithms are trying to solve. There's a limited number of frames in physical memory on a computer. And virtual memory of a process is much larger than the physical memory of the computer. And so pages have to be swapped back and forth from, uh, the from disk into the physical space. So, with a limited number of resources, we need to decide which of the frames uh, a page will get and which of the pages gets kicked out of physical memory. Now, we want to kick out a page if it's not going to be used again in the future. And it turns out that least recently used is a good indicator of what won't be used in the future. If it's been used in the past, it'll probably be used again in the future. However, least recently used is very expensive to implement. And so computers don't really implement a least recently used policy. However, Second Chance tries to uh, simulate least recently used in a way that can be done in a computer today very inexpensively. And it uses two things that computers have. First off, every frame has a reference bit. And when a page gets referenced on that frame, the reference bit gets set to 1. And the computer can set that reference bit back to 0 when it wants to. And so here I've drawn a set of pages from a process that will be uh, touched. And I have three frames in my physical memory. Pretty small computer. And each frame has a reference bit. And let's set those frame reference bits to zero at this point in time. Now, in the second chance algorithm, what we do is we keep a pointer to the next victim frame. And we'll just start here at zero. Let's just write that down here. Our victim frame will be zero. And what we're going to do is we're going to look to see if we can take frame zero for our page. And we will take frame zero if the reference bit is set to one. I'm sorry, set to zero. If it's set to one, what we'll do is we'll set that reference bit to zero and move to the next frame. An example is a lot easier to see than words, so let's jump right on in. We're going to come in and we're going to reference virtual page number seven. And so right now, nothing is in physical memory. And so we can go ahead and just take frame zero and put uh, page seven into frame zero. Now, because uh, I've touched that page, the reference bit will be set. These two reference bits are still at zero. Great. We'll call that a page fault uh, because it was not in physical memory. Now, page zero comes along, virtual page zero. Is it in physical memory? Nope, only seven is in, in physical memory. It turns out we have space for zero right here in frame one, so let's put it there. Zero goes there. That reference bit is still set to one. This reference bit is one. And now page frame two Still at zero because there's no, no page. A page fault has occurred because we're not in was not in physical memory. Virtual page number one gets referenced next. Uh, obviously, we have room in page frame two, so let, let's, set, let's put that there. And each of the reference bits are set. All right, our physical memory is now full. If the next reference was the 701, we'd be fine. Unfortunately, we now are referencing virtual page two. It's not in physical memory. Uh, there's no room in physical memory, so I have to go ahead and kick one of these pages, seven, zero, or one, out. Now, least recently used would say go ahead and kick out seven. Uh, hard to implement, so let's go and use the second chance algorithm. And what we do is we look at our victim frame, which happens to be zero, and we say, OK, uh, I can't kick out uh, 7 because the frame was, um, the reference bit was set to 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the reference bit to 0 and move to the next frame. Up, oh, this one's also set to 1. I'll move it to 0, move to the next frame. Well, unfortunately, this one's also set to 1, so I'll set it to 0. Loop back up, come back here. Ah. This reference bit is now zero, so all I'm going to do is kick out seven. Out seven goes. Two takes the position. Its reference bit is set. And now we have zero and one still in memory. And their reference bits are now set to zero because in the second chance algorithm it was set to zero as it was uh, looked at. 
our victim page now becomes frame one. Okay. Page zero comes in, virtual page zero comes in. Notice it is in memory. So let's see, this one was a page fault and this one was also a page fault. Virtual page zero is referenced. It is in physical memory, so I don't have to kick anybody out, but I will set the reference bit to one. And there's no page fault there. Now, virtual page three comes in. Uh, it looks like two, zero, and one are in physical memory. We need to find a space for three. Our victim frame is one, which happens to be there. Ah, I can't take one, can't kick zero out because reference bit is one. So I'll make that a zero. Move ahead one. Ah, look at that. Reference bit is zero, so I can kick out page number one. And I will do that. Three goes there, reference bit goes to one. 0 and 2 are still in memory. That's a page fault. What is our victim page? Well, our victim frame was 2 before, so we move it up. Our victim frame becomes 0. All right. Virtual page 0. It looks like uh, 0 is quite used quite frequently. Um, it's in memory, and so our reference bit goes to 1 for that. Page 4. Oh, not in memory. Two, zero, and three are in memory. Where's our victim frame? Our victim frame is zero. Oh, looks like I can't kick out two, but I can set that to zero. Can't kick out zero, but I can set that to zero. Can't kick out three, but I'll set that to zero. Loop back up. I'm sorry, two has to go. Four gets that location. And that is a page fault. Okay. Oh, unfortunately, now we're looking for two. We just kick two out. But how do we know we can't see the future? Um, what is our victim frame? Well, our victim frame happens to be one. And so it looks like frame one, yep, we can kick out zero because its reference bit is set to, to zero. And so four, two takes that location. And then three, reference bit is zero. Our victim frame, which was one, becomes two. And that's a page fault. Okay. Page four comes in next. Virtual page four. It is in memory. The reference bit is already set, so nothing really changes. The reference bit is created in um, the silicon. And so in the same write or read that happens uh, in the memory itself, the reference bit just gets set. It doesn't take extra cycles because it's done in parallel on the chip itself. Virtual page zero now gets referenced. Uh, it's not in physical memory, so we have to do a, a page fault. Our victim frame is two. Oh, yeah, three is, is there, and its reference bit is zero, so we can kick three out. Let's do that. And our victim frame now becomes zero. We're almost done with this uh, stream of pages. Three is our next reference. Unfortunately, we just kicked that out. Um, it's not in memory. Uh, our victim frame is zero. You'll notice we run through the entire set of memory again, come back around. It takes location frame zero. And then finally, oh, what's our victim frame? Our victim frame is one. And then finally, number page two gets hit. And that's in memory, so we hit the reference bit. And so on and so forth. This is a simple example with only three frames. Obviously, pages have um, uh, thousands or millions of frames uh, in memory itself. And uh, you don't generally loop through all of memory looking for a free location. The nice thing about second chance algorithm is notice it's very easy to implement. The hardware takes care of the reference bit, and all you have to do is keep track of a victim frame. So inexpensive to implement, and it does a pretty nice job of approximating the least recently used algorithm, which is um, close to optimal. Thank you very much.